Greetings and salutations and welcome back to Lodestar Gaming. My name is Tim and welcome back. It's Wednesday night Star Rail time. We have returned to the lobby after meeting up with Black Swan and after watching an hour of me futz around with enemies. I, I'm debating on publishing that episode because it was pretty embarrassing. All I had yeah, to do was... Are. All I had to do was freaking teleport. Robin. Here's Robin. Let's talk to Robin. Finally. You've arrived. Hi, Robin. Let me introduce you to Robin. She woke up from Anna's dream by her own will. And it's this tough lady who led us here with her song. I woke up for the same reason as all of you. In a dream, I experienced something that could never occur in reality. Are we going to lock it up in a Oh my god. So without us, this bird would be too fragile to survive. No, but... <sighs> then let's take care of it together until it can... Uh-huh? Birds have wings because they're meant to fly. <laughs> Birds belonged. The illusion was so impossibly blissful. That I realized it was just a dream, and this is our final hope. Anna's dream is founded upon the Harmonious Choir. Mainly, everyone shared wishes. It will only materialize once the aspirations of all beings in Pentagoni merge as one. Okay. At present, it has become impervious due to people's desire to remain slumbering within the dream. And in order to destroy it, we must make everyone in Panacone want to wake up. Well, how do we now do that? That's the tricky part. How do we do it? Humans yearning for sweet illusions borders on obsession, leading them to subconsciously resist the harsh reality. Therefore, I carefully selected a moment where he was completely unguarded. Guiding him to uncover the truth himself to make him regain his consciousness. However, to wake up everyone in Panacone and get them to share the same determination, that would be nearly impossible. Indeed. I'm afraid it's almost as difficult as resurrecting an eon. Okay. But we can't just stay here and do nothing. This is a critical moment for the whole universe. Who cares about some dumb number? You've woken <laughs> up too. Thanks to Black Swan. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. And thanks to the Memo Keepers and Panagoni too. I believe you're part. Okay, so everybody's awake. Also awakened from their dreams. This is the first step of our plan. With the assistance from the Garden of Recollection, those who possess a strong will, like you, will gradually awaken from the dream. These free wills are the discord that will sway Anna's dream. However, awakening a mere handful of individuals is insignificant compared to the vast number of people immersed in the dream. We must find other ways to awaken the free will of millions of people within a short period of time. How does one do time. that? If breaking through from the inside proves challenging, we can seek assistance from the outside. We've long been aware of a potential solution. As Donna is a galaxy known for its abundant memoria, and the remarkable phenomenon known as Synesthesia Dreamscape. When people first enter this place, they often find themselves and others sharing a collective dream. So essentially what has happened here is that we got the we got we we won the day, everybody was dead, everybody won, but then it, we found out that everybody was not. So, At this very moment, that's why we're there trying to wake everybody up. Dream encompassing the entire Asdana system. So, you mean, if we can attract a large number of outsiders to this system, their free will would intertwine with this dream and shake it to its core. However, those outsiders might also succumb to the dream and become the foundation of the order instead. The real challenge is. How can we gather a huge number of people as determined as you in, in a short, short period of period time? Of time. <sighs> Looks huh. like the Jade Abkiss of Allying Oath will be the only solution. No. No need for that. Keep your once-in-a-lifetime treasure. 
We don't need to bother the Sienjo Alliance for such a tiny request. You, you want thousands of people with unwavering free will? <laughs> That's easy. Just leave it to us, Galaxy Rangers. You can gather Galaxy Rangers? <laughs> Outsiders may see Galaxy Rangers as elusive, disconnected individuals, and actually, you're right. And that's why we have a tacit understanding among us. Do you know what it is, Acheron? It's the relic I returned to you. Exactly. Its owner must have told you that it's meaningless to anyone other than a Galaxy Ranger. Interesting. So he's going to gather the Galaxy Rangers up. Purpose when returned to its rightful owner. Wake the dream. Because it's a burial artifact. Worthy only of a hero who has served the Galaxy Rangers with honor. When its light illuminates the universe, it means the fall of a hero. And in the direction it falls, countless meteors will streak across the sky. Those meteors are Galaxy Rangers, coming from all corners of the cosmos, driven by a shared purpose. Without questioning the cause or counting the cost. Because we abide by a bottom line. The shooting stars of the hunt only descend on the longest night. And with them comes the dawn. We've stayed silent for far too long. Now it's time to remind all the cowards. Interesting. So Boot Hill's going to save the day, the ladies and gentlemen. Once the dreamscape is swayed, I'll complete the second step. I'll fine-tune the slumbering souls with the song of the harmony, interrupting them with the discord of trailblaze, and guiding them towards reality. It's true that some people are born strong, and others are born weak. If the trailblaze is the target of heroes, then the harmony will guarantee that the strong help the weak. Only the people of Pentagoni themselves can be the saviors of their homeland. Their path of happiness should be forged by themselves. While I may not be a nameless, I'm willing to instill courage in all those who need it. Understood. This includes my brother as well. Anna's dream. Anna is, is the cool god of order. And everyone else. Your plan sounds well-conceived, but still, it appears somewhat idealistic. Why don't you just shit on romantic. things? Why don't you just shit on the world? Why don't you just shit on everything? Can't be eradicated overnight. Just shit on it all, Black Swan. Do you believe these I used to like you. Are enough to convince everyone. I agree with you, Black Swan. That's why the most critical aspect of this plan is not to convince everyone to choose the right path but to inspire them to save themselves. <laughs> so, you're the key in the end, I assume? The Harmonious Choir possesses the power of an Emanator. To overcome it, you'll need the same level of power. The final step in destroying the sweet dream will be my responsibility. That's a relief to hear. <sighs> Now that our roles are assigned, okay. Let's get to our battlefield. And this is cool. I actually like this. Last episode, I was ready to jump to the goddamn screen, and now I'm better. May I have a moment alone with you? No, no, no. no. There's one more thing I need to explain. Oh to you. my God! What is all the talking? This grand festival is drawing to its close. This is the starting point for the ultimate stage of our journey. Just as it marked the beginning of all the stories in Panacone. Whatever we're facing, I'm prepared. This is where Firefly uncovered the truth. Your words still carry for an impound significant. <laughs> Only by reflecting on our steps can we remember the path we should be walking on. And the companions who have walked alongside us. There's something you should know. We were able to locate you within this boundless dream and find the key to breaking free from the dream. All because of one person's unwavering dedication. Firefly. 
She awakened from the dream ahead of others. There you go. Discovered the Express amidst the stars and brought us valuable information about the remnants of the Order. She may have been aided by the script, and it came at a cost. As you know, Firefly is a stowaway who entered the dreamscape in a different way from ours. Well, so that means Without Sam's the toast. Pool in the hotel or assistance from the family, she can only awaken from this dream in one way. A real death. We mustn't fail her determination. I'm not implying that we must win this fight no matter what. But our resolve should match that. Well, if I don't win the fight, we don't get to go forward, do we? <laughs> Are you ready? I am. <sighs> Let's embark on the final stage. Oh my god, we're finally done with this. Very well. Closing my oh my god, here we go. Okay, so fire, lightning, and okay. So I need to do a challenge. I must include a Lord Dong, so uh we'll do yes, add. Uh and uh <laughs> um uh, yes, add. And yes, add. I'm counting on you to wrap this up. We're guy. working on it. I just got to go with my, my, my people here. So this is how you know it's the final battle because Trailblazer's involved. <sighs> I think this is my best group. Let's go with it. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, more backstory. <laughs> <laughs> no backstory. Who is this guy? Who is this? I'm tired. The shadows on the sea have vanished. They vanished. It's still raining. I know. Why is? Because someone's regrets haven't been fulfilled. Mortals who walk the paths. Oh my God! I'm sorry. There's so much backstory. Uh, he sounds like Donald yes. Sutherland. See you later. This is my duty. I'm guarding the path to the abyss of the nihility. Guarding every soul. But if this is what the departed wants. I don't know. Someone would stand at his... Even if... Some tasks have to be done. Please extend... I'll carry your wish. you right. Yes. Because it was you who told me about the Express. Oh, so the this is... Okay. Companions. The That's the dead guy. Cut short by the swarm. They're narrow and pinnacle. Yeah. For countless times, but I knew that. Okay. That's Tiernan. Okay, so that's Tiernan. Come with me. You'll embark on a vast color. Thank you. May death be the end of your bell. Guiding you back. Welcome to this place. Is let's bid our final farewell. Okay, back here, we're in the horizon of existence, we're in the nihility. I get to say bye to Acheron. Always distinguish between Shush. reality and imagination. Life is Shush. akin to a winding labyrinth. May your Shush. be forever. And this dream is too Shush. The imperfect tomorrow. Shush. I still remember the question on the invitation letter. Alright. Why does life slumber? We don't know the answer yet, or perhaps okay. leave this place, return to where you belong, and awaken Panacone from this dream. Will you come with us? As I said, our plan is not about convincing everyone to choose. The answer is, when they are in desperate situations, like a drowning individual in the deep sea. When one's body and mind bear immense pressure, agony, confusion, and despair will follow. I firmly believe that the fragility of humankind often freezes them in their tracks. But in truly desperate situations, they will strive to save themselves. And now, Panacone has enough heroes to lead them forward. It's through this inherent self-centered instinct that people exert their utmost effort even when they know their struggle is fruitless as absurd as it may seem 
It's their resistance, as for now. It is time to guide them. In this way. Okay. The rain is... Oh my god, we're asking questions! I can't take any more questions! Parties. So far, you have forged unbreakable bonds with me. Yes. And I ask if you fear severing these bonds with your own hands. I feel no fear. If there is a vast, lifelike dreamland that is virtually indistinguishable She asked me this question way back in the beginning. A realm without death. Way back. Way, way, way back. attain the happiness and way back. they deserve. Way, way back. I would ask, would you wish to stay? I would never ever want to live in a dream. And I think I answered it this way too, so. Imagine if this splendid dream were fated to fall apart. Friends, families, everyone, and every face they remember. The joy and the heartaches. The vows sealed and those left hanging. I would ask, would you still embark on this journey? I would blaze a trail without... And I answered all these, I think. I'm glad. The answer is... Listen, touch, and ponder. And therein lies the sensation. Cherish it. Because that's what makes us exist. Such is the only answer humans can offer when facing the nihility. If the nihility represents the primal fear of life, rendering any lofty convictions insignificant under their imposing shadow, then behind this shadow, there must exist the most fervent source of light in the world. Just as every life that edges closer to death okay. fervently approaches the end of the nihility, we must pursue that primordial light. There you go. Nevertheless, someone had to do it. As for the meaning you mentioned, even if it's a meaningless dream, even if the future you forge may not even belong to me. It may not belong to me, right? In that case, please. My name is Acheron. My existence. For me, something such is memory. I remember that mark. That's my name. Okay, Raiden. thank you. Ozen. Raiden May is Acheron! There you go! Oh, I gotta take a picture of that. That's... That's... That's important. Because... My daughter is a huge fan of Honkai Impact, and Ride in May is Honkai Impact. So there you go. They all make a different The Golden thing. Dream is getting restless. There you go. In the coming long nights, I'm afraid you will face many setbacks and witness many tragedies. And in the end, you will only see in black. But please believe me, this is cool. that in that monochrome world, there will be a glimpse of fleeting breath. And when you make a choice, it will appear once more. Very cool. So Raiden May is a big character in Honkai Impact. So now the dream has been What you must do is shattered. ponder its significance. Then return to the waking world. That's where we all find our answers. Here's the real battle now, thankfully. All right. This is the final battle. Thank you, everyone. 
This will be three phases, as you can see up here. Three phases. Should have broken him, maybe. Keep up with me. Listen up. May as well kill them all. I have something for you. All right. I don't. I think his break is going to be extremely important for this battle because he increases break. Yes, he increases break time. Weakness is not defined by you. Super breaks. Okay, so that's what we're doing. The music is choice, guys. I love the music. I think I'm making my case right now, asshole. Good times. Now time to say bye. Boom. You get away. Okay, there's that. Stand still. Need to get my healing up. There we go. Heal everybody. Thank you. Let's get the break. Let's play our own. Time for an overhaul. Okay. Heal. Her, because I need to heal her badly. Okay, so now we're at phase two. Heal. Uh, break shield. I gotta break his shield. Okay, breaking his shield. That broke it. Good. All right. Bounce it. There's that. <laughs> now somebody's going to be helping me. Robin! Oh god, do we have to hear the music? Music. No! No, we're having to hear the music. I like that music. There seems to be another kind of sound coming into the Order Symphony. Oh my god, we gotta listen to it. Patagonies first, last Discord. That's still cool. Horizon Echo from afar attack enemies. Imprisoned in their dreams are awakening for freedom. Wow. 
Holy cow. Is that you singing? You have heard their cry. This is not the paradise they hoped for. Even so, they don't know where they should be heading. That's why I had to become the lone star in the sky to guide them. Even if that star must hang in a perpetual night of solitude. All right. So devils. I'll crush them all. Let's play our own melee. Let the show begin. This is a much better battle than the one where we were faked out, which is awesome. Very cool. I always like the battles. They're always really cool. Good job, Hoyoverse. You had me. You had me frustrated with the amount of puzzles, but this is good. I like this. Things. It's so annoying. Time you break a layer of enemy toughness that you gain a certain collective shield, okay. Break as many layers of enemy toughness as you can to get collective shivers from I from I'm and Fang Ward that I tat. Okay, so that's his big attack. Let's break through as much as we can, I guess. Creepy as F. I don't care what anybody says. Witness the will of the weak. Insolent. I guess we'll all be killed at once. Yeah, he probably just one hits everybody, which sucks. Ow. Alright, well, at least we're hitting him. Dance. Okay. Ugh, we don't have. I, I gotta get it. Ugh. Oh, we broke him. Oh, that's huge. Okay. 
weakness of humanity cannot be redeemed by others. Perhaps you still don't know the of these wills as desire to control the heavens, and I know such how to live it. Damn it, I should have healed. Oh, I need to heal. I'll take the lead. I have some people. Okay, now I can heal. Good lord, I got to heal badly. Okay, down to 25. Alright, now he's back up again. Alright, now we're gonna start this again. Keep up with me. Heal. Okay. I need to hit this guy because it's not going to be pretty. I can't die. Oh my god. That broke him. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, we got it. I was worried. Oh, my Lord. That was crazy. So, why does life slumber? Because someday. from our dreams. Cool. Nice job, Hoyoverse. I like it. That was awesome. That was cool. In the first year of the AE-2158, a fiery conspiracy erupted in the land of the dreams. It soon faded in chaos and destruction. Very cool. Whispers carried the tale of those fateful 48 system hours. When a sun teetered on the precipice of collapse, a paradise stood on the brink of destruction, and a world was poised to surrender to its new master. Amidst it all, a body decayed, a pack of vultures gathered, and a brother and sister were doomed for eternal separation. And so, and Eon succumbed to slumber once more. Some celebrated this fall, while others mourned. Among the insignificant witnesses, mere specks in the vast tapestry of the universe. It was said that this time, the Eon met their demise with dignity. Okay. As the cosmos bathed, in the radiance of a pure dawn. A tempestuous storm brewed on the horizon. The chant of all for the Amber Lord grew ever louder. Yet, no matter how one contemplates it, time inexorably swings Klopot's colossal hammer in eternal cycles. The tale of Interesting the that right in May is both its from Honkai Impact was beginning. is Time Akron. marches forward, heralding the arrival of a new chapter in the history of trailblazing expeditions. Brother, where did that come all of a sudden? Because the con <laughs> As for the putt, skipping, the skipping, skipping, our... skipping. No. Yeah, skipping, 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 yeah. skipping, skipping, skipping. This is the end. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. 
Finally, that is the end of Pentaconi. Thank you, everybody. My goodness gracious. All right, we're back. Back is we don't know who March seventh is once again, and this is the usual ending. This is the real ending. Very cool. Elio is the script supervisor because, of course. In loving memory of Rosalina Jane Estella, an extravagant board, the Astro Express, the Scholar, Room Enthusiasm, hailing from the in line by the remembrance of Dominic Mac and Cleeks, she majored in memory dynamics, she got a broader attack from Chris Christman, and towards the end of the war, we painted upon a shuttle, and everyone disappeared in the memory zone man, for research. Oh, these are the three. Okay. These are the all, these are all the, uh, the three nameless that went to Pentaconi. And then the Kyle Char legwork. The watchmaker. Very cool. Very cool. Okay, so there's Pentaconi done. <sighs> that was a long one. That was rough. I I, I liked it. I didn't like it as much as, say, uh, I liked the San Angelo Fu a little bit better, I think. But still, this is very cool. It's definitely going to lead us starward. Very cool. Don't tell me we're in the dream again. <sighs> it's a pleasure to hear your voice again. Congratulations. You've become the... Biggest winner of this festival. That should be, this should be Aventurine. Are you calling just to poke fun at me? No. I'm just impressed. Not only did you venture alone into Pentaconi and discover the truth of Dreamflux Reef, but you also managed to escape with the help of that Knight of Beauty. Remember the recording you received from your Trailblaze friend? It's now the most valuable chip in this game. However, this came at a high cost. Losing a cornerstone is a hefty price to pay. Diamond just called a meeting to discuss what to do with you. Just as I expected. So was Diamond planning to demote me? Or kick me out of the Ten Stone Hearts? <laughs> Why don't you take a wild guess? Well, all right. Then I'll guess. He's going to promote me to P-46. All right. What will you wager? Are we talking about an actual bet here? <laughs> I don't want to wager anything just so that you can swindle I still all. don't like the IPC. I don't know what their game is. But if it's just a friendly bet, I'll put on the line what I did when we first met. I'll bet my life, ma'am. Interesting. But, since it's Diamond's call, no one can predict the outcome. I'm on my way to Pentagoni. Once everyone is settled, we'll return to Pier Point for the final showdown. Sounds like I'll be out of the action for a while. Finally, a chance to kick back and relax? Yeah. Leave everything to me and Topaz, child. Thanks to you. As soon as the Jade Stone was delivered to the family's compound, we finished up our preparations. Well, there you go. The seeds we planted have taken root. Soon, it'll be time to reap the rewards. Huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's wrap it up for now. Looks like I've got a visitor here. Probably... Dr. Ratio? No. Uh -oh. So many surprises today. Didn't expect a Galaxy Ranger and wanted criminal to show up here. One who managed to take out two IPC members under the noses of our fleet. Do you understand what that means? Screw! Whoa, boo! I just put him to sleep! Don't try to intimidate me with that nonsense! 
Besides, I've taken down more IPC lackeys than the residual value you squeezed. And I don't mind adding a few more zeros to my wanted poster. I have a question for you. Be honest now, or I won't think twice about putting a bullet in your fortune head. Tell me, where is a swallow Snyder? Hmm. Wake up! Interesting. Wake up! Hey, wake up! Take it easy! Uh, we're back head. here again? Oh my god. Are you okay? Can you hear me? I didn't hear a peep from your room, and it really freaked me out. Well, this conversation is What are you talking over. about? Are you still half asleep or something? The Order's dream is over. <sighs> Even though it's been a day, I still break into a sweat when I think about it. Our trailblazing expedition almost ended in Panacone. Okay. I'm so jealous that you got a good night's sleep. I was traumatized and too scared to even close my eyes the stellaron was sealed while you were sleeping the ordinary people in Pentaconi have no idea what happened they just feel like something's missing from their memories the family's official statement was like the charmony festival was attacked by an unidentified now all the major lineages except for the oak family are dealing with the aftermath the family has invited the- everyone's waiting for you, so Okay, okay, I'm going. Oh, Lord. Done! Farewell, Pentaconi. So we're going to leave- leave that with that. Guys, thank you again for watching. My name is Tim. This is Wednesday Night Star Rail, Honkai Star Rail, one of my favorite games. Thank you guys for watching. That was an awesome final battle. I will see you guys later. Please leave me a like and subscribe. If you guys enjoy this content, I'm bringing it to you. I love this stuff, guys. Give me a like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys later.